Welcome to Maths Companion. In 8th standard, we learn equations. In 9th standard also, we learn equations or pairs of equations. Today, we are again going to learn equations. A particular type of equations called second degree equations. Let us start with a problem. When each side of a square is increased by 1 meter, the perimeter becomes 36 meters. What is the length of a side of the original square? Let the side of the original square be x meters. When it is increased by 1 meter, the side becomes x plus 1 meters. Given that perimeter is 36, perimeter means 4 into side. Therefore, 4 into x plus 1 equal to 36. Taking 4 on the other side, we get x plus 1 equal to 36 by 4 or 9. Now taking 1 on the other side, we get x equal to 9 minus 1 or 8. That is, the side of the original square is 8 meters. If it is increased by 1, it becomes 9 meters. Then the perimeter is 4 into 9 or 36. Now let us slightly change the problem. When each side of a square is increased by 1 meter, the area becomes 36 square meters. What is the length of a side of the original square? Here, the area is 36 square meters. In the previous question, perimeter was 36 meters. Let us take the side of the original square as x. When it is increased by 1, the new side is x plus 1. The area of a square is side square. Therefore, x plus 1 all square is equal to 36. How can we find the value of x? The square of x plus 1 is 36. It's also a perfect square. Let us find square root on both sides. So we get x plus 1 equal to 6. Taking 1 on the other side, we get x equal to 6 minus 1 or 5. That is, the side of the original square is 5 meters. When it is increased by 1, it becomes 6. And then the area is 36. Now let us look at the two equations which we have obtained now. 4 into x plus 1 equal to 36. x plus 1 all square is equal to 36. In the first equation, there is only x. When you multiply, we get 4x. The power of x is 1. So it is a first degree equation or linear equation. Here, when you expand, we get x square. So the highest power of x is 2 in this equation. So it is called a second degree equation. So second degree equation is an equation in which the highest power of the variable is 2. Another problem. A box is to be made by cutting off small squares from each corner of a square of thick paper and bending upwards. The height of the box is to be 5 cm and volume half liter. What should be the length of a side of the square sheet we start with? First of all, a square sheet of paper is taken. Then, four small squares are cut off from all the four corners. Now bending upwards, we get a box. The volume of the box should be half liter and height of the box should be 5 centimeters. When we bend upwards, this is the height and given that the height should be 5 centimeters. So this length is 5 centimeters. This is also 5 centimeters. This is also 5 centimeters. This is also 5 centimeters. We have to find the side of the original square. Let the side of the original square be x. That is, this length is x. This is 5, this is 5. When we subtract 10, we get this length or side of the small square, which is inside this large square. This is the base of the box which we get by bending these parts upwards. So we can say the side of the base of the box is x minus 10 meters. Volume of a box is base area into height. Base is a square, the side is x minus 10. So base area is x minus 10 all square and the height is 5 centimeters. So base area into height is x minus 10 all square into 5. Volume is half liters. 1 liter means 1000 centimeter cube. Therefore half liter is 500 centimeter cube. So we can say x minus 10 all square into 5 equal to 500. Taking 5 on the other side, we get x minus 10 all square is equal to 500 divided by 5 or 100. Now let us take square root on both sides. So we can write x minus 10 equal to 10. 
taking minus 10 on the other side, we get x equal to 10 plus 10 or 20. That is, the length of the original square is 20 centimeters. When we cut 5 centimeters from both the ends, the base is 10 centimeters and height is 5. Therefore, volume is 10 square into 5 or 500 or half liters. Now, let us do problems on page number 81. First problem. When each side of a square was reduced by 2 meters, the area became 49 square meters. What was the length of a side of the original square? Let us take the side of the original square as x. When each side is reduced by 2 meters, it becomes x minus 2 meters. Then the area is 49. Then the area is 49 square meters. Therefore, we can write x minus 2 all square is equal to 49. Now let us take square root on both sides. We can write x minus 2 equal to 7. Taking minus 2 on the other side, we can write x equal to 7 plus 2 or 9. That is the length of the side of the original square is 9 meters. When we reduce it by 2, we get 7. Then the area is 49. Second problem. A square ground has a 2 meter wide path all around it. The total area of the ground and the path is 1225 square meters. What is the area of the ground alone? First of all, there is a square ground and there is a path of width 2 meters all around it, like this. The width of the path is 2 meters. This is the ground and this is the path. Let the side of the ground be x meters or the side of the small square be x meters. Then side of the large square or ground with path is x plus 4 meters. Given that the total area of the ground and path together is 1225 square meters, that is x plus 4 all square is equal to 1225. Let us take square root on both sides. We get x plus 4 equal to 35. This is the square root of 1225. Taking 4 on the other side, we get x equal to 35 minus 4 or 31. That is, the side of the ground is 31. Therefore, area of the ground is 31 square or 961 square meters. Third problem. The square of a term in the arithmetic sequence 2, 5, 8, etc. is 2500. What is its position? The sequence is 2, 5, 8, etc. The first term is 2 and common difference is 3. Let us find the nth term of the sequence. nth term is dn plus f minus d. d is 3 and f is 2. Replacing the values we get 3n plus 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So this can be written as 3n minus 1. That is the nth term of the sequence is 3n minus 1. Let us consider the square of the nth term is 2500. Then we can write 3n minus 1 all square is equal to 2500. Let us take square root on both sides. The square root of 3n minus 1 all square is 3n minus 1. Square root of 2500 is 50. So we can write 3n minus 1 equal to 50. Taking minus 1 on the other side, we get 3n equal to 50 plus 1 or 51. Taking 3 on the other side, we get n equal to 51 by 3 or 70 n equal to 17. That means the square of the 17th term is 2500. Fourth problem. 2000 rupees was deposited in a scheme in which interest is compounded annually. After two years, the amount in the account was 2205 rupees. What is the rate of interest? We know if an amount of P rupees is deposited at the rate of R% percent compounded annually, the amount after n years a is given by a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 all raised to n. Here the amount is 2205 rupees. The amount deposited or p is 2000 rupees and n is 2 years. Replacing the values we get 2205 equal to 2000 into 1 plus r by 100 all raised to 2. Let us take 2000 on the other side. We can write 2205 divided by 2000 equal to 1 plus r by 100 all raised to 2. Both these numbers can be divided by 5. 441 into 5 is 2205. 
400 into 5 is 2000. So we can write this as 441 divided by 400 equal to 1 plus r by 100 all raised to 2. Now let us take square root on both sides. The square root of 441 is 21, square root of 400 is 20 and square root of 1 plus r by 100 all raised to 2 is 1 plus r by 100. So we can write 21 by 20 equal to 1 plus r by 100. Let us take 1 on the other side. Then we can write 21 by 20 minus 1 equal to r by 100. 1 means 20 by 20. So this can be written as 21 by 20 minus 20 by 20. When we subtract 20 by 20 from 21 by 20, we get 1 by 20. So we can write 1 by 20 equal to r by 100. Now to find r, let us take 100 on the other side. So we can write r equal to 1 by 20 into 100. 120 is 20, 520 is 100. So this can be written as 5. r equal to 5 or the rate of interest is 5%. The first part of the lesson is complete here. We shall see the next part in the next video. Till then, bye.